every now and then you're gonna have to do maintenance on your computer on the inside of it due to over time a lot of dust starts accumulating inside of it especially with your graphics card and everything so get an air compressor is recommended okay you can get like a whole pack of them at walmart and stuff for like less than 10 bucks or so and uh also you might want to download a cpu temp program on your computer that way you can monitor the temps and also google try to find the maximum temperature that your cpu can go to if it's starting to get too hot for example if you bitcoin mine some people have bitcoin mine with their processors and it pushes the temperature to the maximum if it goes over the maximum temps then it's time to reapply new thermal paste depending if you have a liquid cpu cooler or just a regular cpu fan doesn't matter you're gonna have to take the uh, cpu fan or CPU liquid cooler off the processor use a paper towel and rubbing alcohol like I showed earlier in the video how to remove the processor and stuff and um, you're not you don't have to remove the processor just take the paper towel and rubbing alcohol remove the thermal paste underneath the CPU fan or CPU liquid cooler portion and then just reapply new thermal paste to it and put it back down CPU fan or liquid cooler back down again and like I said, the rest of the computer parts you should recommend it to. If you want to unscrew everything, you can. You don't have to unscrew the motherboard, but some fans might need to be unscrewed so you can air compress all the dust out of it. And especially with your graphics card over time on both sides, actually. This is an RTX 3090. And also with your uh, CPU liquid cooler as well. So you might have to unscrew the whole fucking radiator off, take the fans off, and then use an air compressor and then blow the dust into those as well. As you can see. So, like I said, you can get these, a pack of these at Walmart for like less than 10 bucks. But make sure everything is completely unplugged from the computer before you mess with anything on the inside of it. And, as always, make sure that you touch them. Uh, metal constantly any type of metal to get rid of all the stock electricity in your hands when operating inside of a computer as well so I took the liquid CPU cooler bracket off as you can see well the part comes from the radiator filter or whatever right and guess a little I gotta wipe that off which is the thermal paste and the processor itself as you see, yeah, so I need to take a rubbing alcohol, paper towel, wipe all this shit off, get all the old thrown paste off, and reapply new. And I'm also going to fucking probably remove the radiator and the fans and unscrew all those fucking fans and everything, and yeah, get rid of all the fucking dust in this damn computer. Here we go. Oh, squeaky clean. So is the CPU liquid cooler. Well, best I can get it anyway. CPU liquid cooler part that goes on. Screws on top of it after we apply new thermal paste. <sighs> Took the liquid CPU cooler radiator out. Now I gotta remove the fans. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Fuck. No wonder my CPU went to 95 degrees Celsius when 94 is the max. <laughs> Fuck ton of dust under the radiator of the liquid CPU cooler I'm going to have to clean out. If I don't remove this dust, well, that uh, it's, <laughs> it's going to have trouble blowing the hot air out of the uh, case and away from the CPU uh, properly. Pretty fucking gross. Holy crap, look at that. It's just, oh my gosh. Wow. Get out of here, dust. Try to get as perfect as I can. <laughs> Ain't gonna get 100% perfect, but.
Surf on, O N N. It's the Walmart kind. It's way better. It's way more powerful. Yeah, see how powerful that is compared to this. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> After you use it too much, it starts to lose its pressure. Ah. One thing I hate about air compressors, they're so retarded. It's a good thing I bought a pack of four, so when one gets too cold and loses its air pressure, I can use another one. <laughs> and I'm not using a needle this time, because needles suck. Well, straws, whatever. Much more powerful and has a wider spread of air without it. <laughs> now you see one end of the CPU. <laughs> Look at the color, it's completely clean. Completely like... Nothing and then <laughs> It's the best I can do I got most of it though Sometimes you gotta scrape it off with your fingers too But hey, it's uh Better than nothing right And you can just use your uh, fingers and stuff like that To get the rest of the dust off That you couldn't get all with the Air compressor Like I said you're not gonna be able to get everything perfect Just get as much dust away as you can But I got Most of it out and You see there's none on the top anymore. Got everything out of the back. Just wipe whatever's left off. And do the same thing for any fans. Remove them with your uh, uh, you know, screwdriver. Get the screws out of the case and then screw them back in. And don't forget the bottom lint trap that's right below the power supply. Just in case you have one of those. <laughs> now I gotta do my graphics card. Like I said, you're not going to be able to get too perfect, but, you know, it is used. And whatever you can't get with the air compressor, you can just use your fingers. Okay? Alrighty then.